morning welcome back to my vlog channel as you can tell by the title this video <laughs> pertains to things that happened so long ago it is currently like november 18th i believe like my friend's giving is this weekend in a couple days <laughs> i'm prepping for that that will be the next vlog that you'll see much sooner um but just coming on here with a little intro kickoff clip to explain why this is taking so long to get up here um, which really is a very fast explanation of I was locked out of my YouTube account <laughs> for quite a minute So that is why both channels were doing without videos for a hot minute over my main channel I just posted um, a fall capsule wardrobe video it still applies to winter any kind of like coolish weather yesterday If you remember me talking about on this channel that like personal trainer experience I was getting a personal trainer for a couple of months I just posted that video following the whole 60 days over there if you want to check that out and as you may be able to see behind me I don't think so I've got my Christmas decor going on that I'm not really gonna show because I'm not positive when my um when my decorating video will be up but that'll be up soon just like all my holiday videos are coming soon I have a lot of fun content coming up on TikTok again but yeah we are unfortunately jumping way back into the rest of this vlog back to Halloween so at this point since I know we're going back in time if you've seen the Harry Potter party TikToks Thank you so much for the support. They like popped off and like literally went viral. One of them I think is at like 5.6 million views, which is crazy. That was just very exciting. But before we hop back in time, I wanted to thank Fabletics for sponsoring today's vlog. If you've been following me for a minute, you've probably seen me post about them a lot <laughs> throughout throughout the years. I've been um, partnering with them for quite a long time now. I absolutely love working with them. And if you have seen my content over the months or the years and you've maybe considered joining Fabletics, now is the time to do it. They're currently running their best cyber sale they have ever done so you can go to my link in the description box if you like any of these outfits i mean there's way more outfits they launch new items every thursday i think i believe so every week they have new items launch as well as just like so many other classic pieces that are always there but right now if you join their vip program you not only get two pairs of bottoms for 24 dollars, but you get 80 percent off the entire rest of your order so it's not up to 80 percent off it's literally 80 percent off so this can be great we're placing like a big order for getting Christmas presents for people with the discount bottoms start at $7.99 and tops are at $4.99 so you could get all your friends a really cute work outfit or just stock up for yourself. So you guys know this is the athletic wear I'm wearing all the time and I really just cannot recommend their stuff enough so um, I'm gonna have it linked below and I'm going to try on some of their November outfits. Alright so this is outfit number one. It's like a joggers outfit with this little brown windbreaker. Um, I think this is so cute. We have lots of pouches. If you were maybe going on a hike, you could fit even a water bottle here, perhaps. <laughs> um, but really, I just like how this looks. I think it's super comfy. This is the second outfit. So it's the exact same color leggings as those last joggers. These are actual leggings this time. So they have the pocket here. This is great for your phone or credit cards, anything like that. Um, and it is paired with this like quarter zip or half zip sweatshirt. That is just super comfy. It's like the perfect amount of cropped and the inside is super soft and fleecy So super cozy and warm for the winter months. Athletics also has the best gray sweatpants So this would match those as well if you already have a pair or I feel like they're always releasing those too Next up just another very cute sweatsuit. This gives me like snowy vibes like snow day cozy I don't know. It's just like the light color. I think is so pretty so This is just their crew neck again If you guys could feel the inside of this it is so soft and fleecy it just pairs with these cozy pants in the same color Again, we got the pocket going on on the side and all of these are just like a very like comfy luxe feeling fabric also just for sizing info I get a size medium in every single thing that you're gonna see here. Next up, if you didn't know, Fabletics has the best outerwear. I really think they have some of the most quality, affordable puffers that you can find, um, especially again with this sale. I have these in so many colors, and like their teddy jackets, and just like all around, they have a really great outerwear option. With the VIP membership, these are cheaper than you can probably get a puffer for like literally anywhere else. I love this outfit, wearing it just over a little ribbed sports bra, and then again, it's just with some black drawstring joggers. You can see kind of the length these are on me, so, if you are on the shorter side, Fabletics is a perfect place to get your joggers. Um, I mean, they fit taller people as well. Adrienne always wear them. My old roommate, and she was quite a bit taller than me, and they fit her well. Somehow they fit me well. I'm always running into problems with sweatpants and joggers being way too long, so I cannot recommend these enough, and I just always love an all-black fit. So Next up, I feel like this is a newer thing, but Fabletics actually has some, like, in their same, like, comfy materials, is launching some more, like, 
out and about outfits that could even function as like dresses or like this is a really cute tank and midi skirt combo. So I am obsessed with this. This sports bra just by itself it has this little tie in the front, it has a built in bra, but also I love this like ribbed midi skirt. It has this little slit on the side. I think this would be so cute as like a day out, like casual dressy outfit with like some Air Force Ones. Overall, it just feels like there's like spanks built in just because of the fabric and like the comfortable compression. Really big fan of that. If you didn't know they have regular clothes, now you know. And then lastly, you cannot beat their power hold leggings, just their standard legging um, that I just feel like really holds you in. Um, they pass the squat test. You can't see through these and they're just my favorite leggings. These are like the core ones I wear I wear most of the time to work out um, and then I'm just pairing it with this little high neck like workout tank and Lastly, I've been wearing these new cozy slippers around my house all the time These just have like a little bit of padding like a comfy sole at the bottom um, an issue I sometimes have with slippers is that they just go flopping off my foot and these thanks to this little like elastic strap really stay snug and like don't move around you're not gonna like trip going upstairs like I do very often so um, yeah they have these in a lot of colors these can make great stocking stuffers so you can shop at my link below to take advantage of their best sale of the year and thank you so much again to them for sponsoring this and let's finally hop back in time to my Harry Potter party welcome back to another vlog it is Halloween week. It's Wednesday of Halloween week. Don't even have much more time until Halloween. I already know that this week's vlog is going to be kind of all over the place, but I definitely wanted to vlog what is happening. It's a very busy week. I don't know why I decided recently that I wanted to turn my house into Hogwarts. <laughs> I was kind of inspired by Carrie Dayton, like hung these, I've seen a lot of people do it now, but like um, hung these like floating candles like in Harry Potter, whatever. It looked so good, like saw it a while ago, didn't really think anything else about it. And then recently me and my friends were like trying to plan what we were gonna do for our Halloween costumes. Cause we wanted to do a group costume. Last year we did like our different like Britney Spears iconic looks. Um, and it was just so fun and like that content popped off, which is never a bad thing So we were trying to think of like another group costume and we did come up with something that me and Caitlin were really about And I'm not gonna say what it is in case we do it again, but it was just ugh, it was so good But like everyone wasn't the most excited about it So I brought up what if we did Harry Potter and everyone was excited about that And then I can't ever just like do things like a normal person and like have a few pieces of decor here and there I decided I needed to turn my entire home into Hogwarts So I have so many exciting like just like so many decorations and ideas and DIYs and like nods to different aspects of different movies or books whatever i'm just so excited so the primary place that i decided i'm gonna do like a tiktok like day one of turning my house into hogwarts like day two day three whatever a little series posting like updates every day so tiktok is the primary place i'm gonna try to document the like doing it i have another costume as well on friday this like harry potter thing isn't happening until sunday first thing up i feel like the classic thing i've been seeing everywhere of people doing um, is hanging these LED candles from like I mean any kind of ceiling so I'm just gonna do it here um, kind of over this table where I'm probably gonna have some food and stuff set up um, and I already have these lights where you take clear like fishing line tied to the candles and then hook it to a little command hook on the ceiling um, and then they just look like they're floating they move around a little bit and they're remote controlled um, I think they have like a flicker setting so that is first up here's the system here I'm trying to figure out how to get the batteries in this um we're gonna see if this remote control will work i got my fishing line a ton of AAA batteries i think i have 24 of these candles i don't know if i'll need that many right here all right so it does work i put it on candle mode instead of just light so i think there's like a slight flicker like very slight flicker <laughs> that comes through every now and then so then i think you just tie the string around like here um that way it kind of floats around a little bit from the sky i'm hoping these like minuscule command hooks are gonna stick to the ceiling. So we'll see. This is so much more time consuming than I ever imagined. <laughs> um, all of these do turn on. Um, I'm also not tall enough to reach up there comfortably. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait till Giselle's here to hang those. In the meantime, you gotta use your imagination for this one, but on like a similar note to like those hanging candles, I've, I was looking at like different Harry Potter decor and saw some people that actually have fireplaces and like hung like the little floating letters, like you know in the first movie where Harry's getting sent like a million letters at once. I also 
I'm excited to like address those letters. I have a cool like wax seal kit as soon as my uh, Hogwarts like wax stamp thing comes in. But here I don't have a fireplace. So we're gonna see how, I mean this looks treacherous as you can tell this bright red Giselle up in this and was like uh, confused about the vision here. This doesn't look like something you'd pick out. But I was looking at fake fireplaces and in the reviews for this one, some people like used this marble contact paper over like the brick part and made it look really nice. So I think the dimensions are hopefully gonna match up with this. I'm gonna assemble it, cover it in this marble and go from there. <laughs> uh, hopefully try to create some kind of fireplace illusion. <sighs> All right, I'm like winded. I was about to hire a contractor to figure this out. This took so much construction effort. <laughs> I also need to order more contact paper because I ran out. Um, going to put like black in the inside of this and like some real firewood and just not have this flame situation. But like this was just, this is a lot. This was a struggle. <laughs> now next up I have some parchmenty paper looking well, it's just paper. I'm using it as wrapping paper with some twine to wrap up a bunch of these boxes. I've ordered like some little owls and stuff and I'm basically gonna have like a little corner that's like a, you know, like the male and the owls, whatever, just a decorative element that I thought would be pretty easy to repurpose um, these boxes. So, going to do that. All right, now I'll have tall reinforcement who's helping me hang these. <laughs> Moment of truth. Look. Ooh. That looks so cool. So cool. All right, well the fireplace wasn't too successful yet, but at least one thing today is accomplished. I only wrapped up a couple packages so far. Now having a little date night at the Melrose Rooftop Theater, eating at the restaurant at UPNLP before. And then tonight's movie is Halloween Town, which I'm excited about, because I haven't watched it yet this Halloween season. new updates. <laughs> Surprisingly time consuming to wrap these up because like the roll of paper, my house is just gonna be a train wreck up until we finish this thing, but this roll of paper is like so small, if you can tell, it's like not at all a normal size like roll of wrapping paper. So it's been like making wrapping some of these bigger boxes more challenging. So we're just arranging these in a certain way to hide those weird spots. I also have some more owls on the way because Hedwig turned out to be quite tiny. I thought it'd be cute if we had like a little male area. Have yet to really fully plan out like all the games we're gonna do. I can't remember if I said. I'm having everyone dress for what house they're in and then I'm trying to come up with like a few different little like games and whatever so we can like compete for the house cup. Stone walls going up. I have other updates for right now. Giselle on her way home from work spent like an almost two hours driving around. <laughs> to a pumpkin patch to get pumpkins, but mainly driving around to different places trying to find the little carving kits so that we could have a little pumpkin carving date. So, we're about to do that, watch some Survivor. Here's how they turned out. I did a little Harry Potter look. Giselle did the sorting hat. It has a floppy eye. Happy Friday. I feel like I'm finally starting to feel a little bit of the weight and the pressure of like how much stuff still needs to be done. I just put this stone on here. It's looking pretty good. I'm trying to decide what sections I really wanna do. So we also have a predicament. I have a vision for stuff I wanna put on these walls. I'm gonna show you just like a couple little things, but um, we're gonna be using a ladder. It's like, there was just no chance of like stone getting all the way up these walls. But um, thankfully we don't really have to cover much in the kitchen. Gonna do this wall, maybe that part trying to figure out if we're gonna mess with this or not. I also have another Halloween party I'm going to tonight, so I need to like shower and get ready for that. More updates with these little diagonal cuts. This was a struggle. Um, I left this edge rough at the moment in case I end up like putting it back here. I'm not really sure yet. Now, instead of just this random piece of artwork, I have, I got a Marauder's Map blanket that I'm gonna like put over top of this, like in a, you know, tighten it up, whatever. Um, and I have this little spotlight in general that I always have on over the art. I'll turn it on in a second, just to make this a little bit more Harry Potter themed. Now I'm making 
the drink menu. Come up with a few cocktails for the evening. I'm calling it the Leaky Cauldron. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>